Hi there, my name is Scott Fong, and today I'm here to teach you how to attach thermocouples using a capacitor discharge thermocouple attachment unit for heat treating purposes. For today's purpose, we'll be using a Type K thermocouple wire that is uh, 20 gauge and has a double jacket high temperature glass coating. Uh, in this instance, we're using a two pair wire so that we don't have to tape our TCs together to uh, provide that backup when we go to attach them. Once we have our wire cut to length, we'll need to separate the jacket on the outside away from the wires on the inside. We do this by moving the wire back and forth in our fingers and slowly sliding the jacket back. You'll notice once we peel the jacket back that there's four different color wires in there. We have a white wire with a red tracer, a white wire with a yellow tracer, a yellow wire, and then a red wire. The next step is to attach the thermocouple plug. In this instance, the Type K thermocouple plug is polarized. In Type K thermocouples, the negative wire is colored red and attaches to the negative terminal of the thermocouple plug, which is the larger pole. As with any welding process, preparation of the base metal is going to be critically important. Ensuring that the base metal is free of mill scale is important not only for the area that you're going to weld but also where you attach your ground. Next power on your thermocouple attachment unit and power to about the mid range of the power settings. As you grip the wire with the pliers from the TAU it's important to recognize that when you press the discharge button you create an arc between the wire and the base metal that actually creates a puddle in the base metal. So it's important that you hold it in such a way that you can put a little bit of tension on the wire as the TAU discharges. So you can push that wire into the puddle. Positioning the wires in sequence approximately an eighth of an inch but no further than a quarter of an inch from each other is important for the operation and accuracy of the thermocouple. Once you've attached all the wires, bend them over to ensure that all the welds are good and all the wires stay attached. Some of you will wonder why we put the second set of wires on when we were attaching our thermocouples. This is primarily for post-weld heat treatment purposes. Recommended practices, American Welding Society D1010 and the Welding Research Council Bulletin 452 state that backup thermocouples should be used.